this enrolled in this district. Uh, the, the enrollment went up to about 4,051 uh, for this year. Now those numbers are not quite official yet because we make our numbers based upon the October 15th enrollment, but they shouldn't fluctuate very, very far from that. Five years out, we're looking at the district going up to about 4,275, and then 10 years out, going up to about 4,530. So if you give me the next slide, I'll kind of translate. Okay. So in a K-6 organization, what we're looking at is change of about, of the change from 2010-11 uh, to the current, through 2016-17, on the elementary school level, was 121. Uh, that represented a four point, well, 121. Going to 2021-22, we're looking at a growth of about 323 students at the elementary school level, and then going out to 2027-28, about 461 elementary school uh, students. So that's. That's a, a large number. Um, on the element, on the middle school level, or the 7-8 level, we're looking at a growth of 31 over the past five years, only 41 over the next, uh, over the future five years, and then 96. But keep in mind that most of the enrollment that's come in recently that's caused this large, large jump in enrollment uh, population or enrollment is at a younger level. So. Those kids are going to start to filter through into the secondary schools later on in the projection. So they'll come, they'll come in affecting the high schools and the middle schools a little bit later than the elementary schools. Okay, next slide, please. 